All right, another great run by Giga Kick last weekend to finish second in the TJ Smith behind I Wish oh, I Win. The two win. now share favouritism for October's Everest. Oh, I can't believe we're talking about it already. So will James Harron team up with Giga Kick again in 2023? James Harron knows how to pick an Everest winner too. Uh, you caught up with him earlier in the week, Timmy, for Racing Dreams. Giga Kick, Giga Kick down the outside, wins the Everest. The unbeaten three-year-old's done it. Well, I mentioned on the show last week, James Harron hasn't taken the smile off his face since Giga Kick won the Everest. It is always an opportunity to reflect on a wonderful day. That was just extraordinary. The jumping up of, of Clayton, but the smile on your face. Yeah, no, it's every time you mention it, 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 it certainly it draws a smile. And it was a wonderful thrill for, for all the owners and all the, the people that are in our, in our slot for the Everest. And... Uh, and also for, for his breeder and, and their whole team and, and Jonathan Munns and, and of course what a story with Clayton Douglas who's uh, con continued to do a great job with the horse. We saw him most recently running an amazing second in the TJ on, on very testing ground. So a great horse and I think uh, a lot more big wins to come for him. Yeah, it was a, a storming finish in the race before and the challenge and to come second, third then second. Um, I know you went very late last year with the Everest. Are you already thinking you want to slot him in? Yeah, look, he's uh, he's certainly um, in 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 you know in the big in the mix in a very very big way, of course. So, uh, look, we've got a great relationship with uh, with the team with Giga Kick. Obviously, we had that experience together. He was coming in as a, a twenty to one pop. We all um, took a lot of faith in each other in, in terms of that decision. And um, yeah, who's not to say we'll do it again? Yeah, I can't believe it. I sat with you at the draw, and I didn't have one dollar on Giga Kick anyway. That's my Stupidity, which happens from time to time. Now, let's have a look at a few other things. What about Cannonball? Cannonball, that was a fantastic run in the Galaxy to finish third. Could have been second. What happens with him next? Yeah, look, he's, he's, really, um, he's really had a fantastic preparation. He's, he came down to Sydney and, uh, and ran a really brilliant win against the older horses when he was still a little overdone and, um, and backed up just a week later to run third in the Galaxy. Um, just put him on good ground and his form's absolutely outstanding. Of course, he had that wonderful form around Giga Kick in the Danehill um, last preparation. And um, look, he does need good tracks and um, we're highly considering uh, maybe sending him to Royal Ascot this year. It's a, it's a big team discussion at the minute. We've had an invitation um, from Royal Ascot to do so. And um, the five furlong straight, um, Nine times out of ten, you get firm tracks over there in the English summer. So it's a big conversation point with us at the minute, but uh, it would be a very exciting step for what is a very progressive cult. You've just giving us a little bit of subtle breaking news there. Cannonball to Royal Ascot. Well, quite potentially, but, you know, a little bit of water to go under the bridge. But, um, yeah, like I say, we're giving it huge consideration.